And my buddy Caleb over here is going to be teaching us and show and modeling for us and showing what you guys can do with things around the house to take pictures with. One fun thing you guys can do. Um, so if you guys don't have a light source, your best light source is right here, the window. As you can see, it is an amazing source. Yeah, yes, Caleb, thank you. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> And my eyes still can't show so, this. Okay. But make sure that the ca but you're pointing your the camera to you from the window. And not because then you get backlighting. And you don't really want backlighting in your pictures because then you just get dark. Right, Caleb? <laughs> so one thing that you guys can also use at home that is very cool. Um, there's this. How, who, how many people know what this is? Helmets. <laughs> What is Anyone? it? Anyone? Go Sim. ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah. Siv. Exactly. So one cool thing that you can do with this yes. is if you if you point the light source right there. Come, Caleb, could you sit down right here? And then you go like this through it. You can take some cool pictures like this. Get his eyes, you know. Shooting Shooting through things is very cool. Um, you could also use aluminum foil and just make a hole for your camera in it. Camera, Caleb, hold this, please. Thank you, bud. All right. So then you go like this, and you have a nice frame. Anything you can see that has a frame in it looks awesome. Even works for videos. Make sure you're in focus, of course. So you can use a little foil, you can use colander. What else could you use, Caleb? You know? I know. What? You know that you can, you know this, this, this is, you can use it so you can take a photo much better. Exactly. Want to show some of the poses that you can do while taking pictures of people at your house? Okay, which one's the first one? This. Right. The whole <laughs> thing going on. Then there's the pockets, right? Use your pockets. Oh my God, why is this shut? I don't know. Exactly. Good tips is, uh, make, is like one, you can look away from the camera yeah. and take a picture like that. Like pose, Caleb, with the, there you go. Another good one is looking into the camera, making sure the eyes are always in focus because the eyes are the things that make the, the photos the best. Look in the camera, Bubba. See? Wow, eyes. Wow, rock and roll dance. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> um, and then other things that you can also do to make pictures better is if you have a blanket or anything like this. Kale, come here. Yes, sir. Stand right there. You put the blanket around the person and have them pose with it. <laughs> Okay, could you, want to, could you hold the blanket, Bubba? Huh? Hold the blanket. And take some pictures like that. You know, have your model do different things with it. <laughs> different, light sources, different light sources you could also use is, of course, the simple ones like a lamp. Um... Lights like that, poke it, point it through. Uh, anything like that really helps. Okay. Right, Caleb? Yes. Um, also, different things that you can do for pictures. Ready? No, go back, go back, go back. Always have people in movement, doing something. If people just stand there, sometimes it can be really repetitive. So if you have people doing different things, like maybe reading a book, yeah. or writing, or even in movement, it looks different and it looks cool. So pretend that you're reading book. Sit down. Yeah, I know you don't know how to read. One day, it was a little girl named. So this it, it looks different this way because she's doing something. 
Red and then you can tell him to look somewhere else. So, Caleb, look over here. Red hat is... Look over here. Red hat is doing... Look over here. A lot of stuff. And it's very important that as a... It's okay. It's very important that as a photographer, you are telling the model what to do. It's collaboration, but it's your vision in what you're wanting to do. So, does anyone have any, like, any pictures that they want to take that they have an idea for? And you guys can unmute yourself now if you want to check in and talk. Um, that was ad adorable. I have some questions too. If you have, so if anyone has questions, but also if you guys can brainstorm like a photo shoot that you'd want to take, and then we're going to ask people to do that and then send the photos to us. And we can help edit and everything. Yeah. Uh, Finn asked, do we have tips? Do you have tips for pet photos? Um, yeah, so pets work a lot like children. Um, make sure you have something that you can give, make them stand still or to do what you want. So like treat. Um, I, they also, um, put them in a place that's let, that doesn't have a lot of things going on because they can focus more on you versus everything that's going, happening around you. So if you put them in one place that has, doesn't have a lot of things going on and that they can focus on you and also have a treat, they're more likely to do what you say and rather than going out on their own and not being able to take any pictures. Um, so I have a photo of me using like, the frame trick with a scrunchie. Awesome. That's oh, wow. so cool. Wait, that's awesome. Hold on. Let me put that, put it back. I'm going to spotlight you for a sec so we can all see that. Did you just take that? That's awesome. Wait, did you literally just do that? No, it was in a car at some time. We, me and my friend were trying to like be creative with photos and then she took her scrunchie off and then did that. <laughs> so that is a perfect example of exactly what Kat is talking about. Yeah, um, use different, always use different items as frames, like be creative with everything. Anything could be a frame for your face. The more that like you want to have your subject always in focus so whatever you can frame that makes them look more focused is better also the same thing with leading lines which that means is basically if you see a window sill like this or like these things right here here let me um hold on let me uh make you the spotlight here so everyone can see they're pointing to something so can you come right here sorry okay. hold on here we go here we go now we're good okay so stand right here, Bob. Bob. So if you use these lines, it's going to point towards Caleb. So Caleb, look out the window. So that makes a more interesting photo because you can see that everything here is pointing towards him, and this is who you're going to be focusing on. So now he can do different things, like put his hand on the thing, look how mysterious. Oh, wow. Exactly. But you can't see your face. So, yeah. And then different frames you can also use is very interesting. You can sit back down. Thank you. What, um, I have a question, Kat. What are some like everyday, some other everyday props that you, most people would have in their house that you think would be good to pose with or to use to help make an interesting photo? Definitely. You can all, um, you can use cups, like mugs. You can use, um, pans. One interesting thing you can do, for example, is play with distance. So for example, Caleb, could you stand up right there, please? Go back. More back. So here you see a cup and you see Caleb. Right now, nothing, nothing really seems like he's, the cup doesn't seem bigger than him. But if you come close like this, Caleb will bend down. He looks smaller, and you can put your hand here. No, no, no. We'll pretend that you're putting your hand right there. So we just go like, yeah. And go down. You can play with distance like that. Make the cup look bigger than he is. And different things like that. What you do like that is, which, to do that, you just have to put distance like this between the person in the back and the cup. And then you come closer to the cup and less closer to the person. 
Um, I have a recommendation for What's that? for uh things like you can use for framing or just like for cool photos is beaded necklaces. They just make really cool photos like this one. Show me the cool photo. I want to see. Oh yeah, let's um. So you, oh yeah, so you brought it up close to the to the lens so that it was kind of out of focus and it created like an interesting frame. That mm -hmm. is very cool. Yeah, who else has ideas for things that they can find around the house that might make uh, photos look interesting? You can also use glasses and put it on the lens. Wait, cardboard. C cardboard, mm -hmm. like as a frame? Yeah. Oh, especially like a cardboard box. You can easily make a frame out of that. Um, let's see, Kat, Kat, you were you about to say something. Uh, you can use glasses and you can put it in front of the lens. So let me see, Bob. You can put it in front of here and it's going to be an interesting frame as well. Sometimes there's glasses that have colored lenses and that changes the filters of your camera. Um, you can also use blankets. Like I said before, you can use, um, if you have props at home like let's say uh drumsticks you can play with perception and make it closer like that you can use a water bottle if you guys still use them and make another cool filter like this you can play with mirrors And do pictures like that. Honestly, like when you're at home, that's when you're the most creative because you have nothing else to do. And finding different things to play with is super fun. I love playing with angles. I love playing with perception. So like if you want to take a picture, try something. If you can do it in a different angle or in a different way. Or if you can put something over top of it and make it look cooler like that. You can use wrinkled paper, you can use um, an actual frame that you have for pictures. And so Do I have you, this one. Oh, that's awesome. I was gonna ask, um, are there any pointers that you have if you're using a phone? Like, are there settings that you can maybe adjust on a phone, on like an okay. iPhone? So on an iPhone, when something's very bright, you can bring it down by touching the screen and then manually dragging it down or up, depending on how you want it to be. Also, like right now, I'm really well lit. If I press on myself, I don't know if Zoom is gonna do it. No, you don't. Can you share your screen? I don't think I can do it. No, I, I don't think iPhones let me do it very well yet. Yeah. But um, also, a lot of people say like, oh, you need to have the iPhone 11 or the iPhone 10 to take good pictures. Not true. You can use the piano mode on an iPhone 8 or an iPhone 7. And it's really cool because then you can add more length to your pictures than before. Thank you for the assurance, Kayla. Um, <laughs> one thing that you can also play with is, please don't put your fingers in fans, but if you go through it like this, you can see an interesting thing as well. Um, if you have like a old t toilet paper roll, you know, God bless the toilet paper. You can use it as a frame as well and go through it. Wow, that's cool. It is. Um, does anybody else either have ideas or questions? It looks like Joanna, yeah. you, you have your hand up. What's up? Yeah, so two things. On even on old phones, they have like filters like this. See? Like black and white and blue right. and stuff like that. And also I like to take pictures of people while they're jumping because awesome. it kind of looks like they're flying. And I like to take pictures of things in the water like this is a fish. One time I took a picture of a rose. Well, that's a good point too. Like if you want to play with water, of course, be safe. Like if your phone and camera is not waterproof, um, one thing that I used to do that I don't recommend 100% 
because you never know. But like I would put my phone in plastic in a plastic Ziploc bag, and I would put it under the water while recording or while like taking continuous pictures. And that way, um, I would be able to get some like cool underwater shots. But of course, ask your parents first. It might not be safe, so have that in mind. One other th one thing I like to do is also take like panoramas of a whole entire room. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, looks like Finn already sent a photo. This is great. Um, this is my cat. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And I just saw, I saw that Levon joined. Hey, Levon. Um, what's up? Nothing much. Um, I have an actual photo idea. So um, I took a bunch of photos of, I just got a, like a sheet of plastic and then put like um, my phone under it. And then I would, and then I would project a picture on my phone and then I would put the plastic over and I would spray water on it. And then I would awesome. take a picture and it would make this super cool, like bubbly um, design. And that's what really got me like, that's, that's one of the first things that I, when I was just bored, so I just started doing that. That's super cool. Levon, can you uh, post that? Did you post that in the Discord? Yeah, it was in quarantine. Um, yeah, okay, cool. Here, I'm going to just share the screen so people can see that. Um, so I'm just going to share... This is some of the quarantine creation. So this is Finn just took this photo, which is Amazing. awesome. Um, and then I think uh, there were lots of other quarantine creations here, but this is what you were talking about. Yeah, Levon, that's so cool. So you guys can see here that, so there's an image on the phone and then there's the plastic and then there's the water on top and you're taking a photo of that, right? Well that's awesome. Yeah. Like that is so cool. And doesn't that look like something you would like, I feel like that's something you would get in like a, you know, like a filter on like a website, you know, yeah. but you created it in, in real life, which is just super, super awesome. So, um, doing the plastic wrap is cool too. Like you can put like, if you have any paint or, um, sprays, you can spray the plastic, the plastic and then put it over your camera. And that also becomes a really cool filter. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to think, or like cellophane or whatever. Um, but even like it's tissue so paper, well. if you have tissue paper, you could totally use those as lighting gels too. Um, and and um, if you want to do a self-portrait on the phone, it's much easier. You set it down wherever you want and you can do the countdown. And then if you have 10 seconds, three seconds, you can set it up and you can have your own portrait or, you know, profile pic. That's awesome. One cool. other thing I like to do is like if you have a chalkboard, you could draw like a crown and then put your head under it and then take a photo. <laughs> <laughs> you do have a very awesome gigantic uh, chalkboard in your house, mm -hmm. which I don't, but I'm pretty jealous. Um, Aiden, do you have your hand up? Are you messing with the lights? Oh, that's cool. I love it. Here, you're muted for a second. Sorry. Go ahead. Tell us what you're uh, doing I over just here. I have a uh lamp right next to me it's Whoa. been bigger than my head <laughs> wow that's that's perfect so messing around with light you know find any sort of space in your house get some cool costumes find some weird props get a younger or older sibling or pet or family member or whatever and do a photo shoot and send us it's the videos um can i challenge them to send us a picture Oh, yes. Yeah, Kat, what's the challenge? All right, guys. Um, using any of the tips that me and Heather gave you guys and Caleb helped you do, um, take your best picture of whatever you'd like. Be as creative as you can and send it to the Discord channel. Yeah, so I'll post in the chat a link again to the Discord channel if you're not part of that yet. But everybody, I think, should be. Um, and I will send the link to the quarantine creations. So post it in quarantine creation. Um, any other questions? Um, if you guys want, uh, I can also send the emails that I sent to parents. Uh, a bunch of parents have been giving me your emails as well. So if you want me, if you want to send me your email, you can so that you get all those uh, notifications. 
but basically join the server and stay safe and be creative and do cool stuff. Okay. Bye. 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 Say bye now. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right, I just Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>